Today we're going to learn how to play beginner guitar chords with just one finger. Let's go! Welcome to today's video. My name is Ron Arizari and thank you so much for tuning in. One of the topics we cover on this channel is helping out beginner guitarists and beginner songwriters. But before we get started, please share the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so when new videos are posted, you won't miss out. So what we're gonna learn today is how to play three different guitar chords, each of them with just using one finger. These are some simple, easy chords that can help you get up and going so you can get started and working on your songs. Some of you might just be starting out on your musical journey, so let me know in the comments below if you're a beginner guitarist, beginner songwriter, or both. So before we dive in today, just for a little bit of context, we're gonna talk about guitar chords. A guitar chord is two or more notes or tones that make up a chord. And for the musical purists out there, some might say it's three notes that make up a chord. Uh, two notes are actually a dyad or an interval, but for today's purposes, we're gonna say two notes or more can make up a guitar chord. So can you really play a guitar chord with just one finger? The answer is yes, and I'm gonna show you three of them right now. So the first chord we're gonna to cover today is a C chord. And the way we're gonna play this is we're gonna play the top three strings, and we're gonna be using the top three strings of the guitar, okay? So our first finger is going to go on the first fret of the B string, which is the second string. So you should get this note. And that is actually a C note, okay? The notes that we're gonna be playing here in the strings are gonna be an open G, which is a third string. And then we're gonna play our first finger, first fret on the B string, which is a C note. It's a second one. And the last note we're gonna play is an open E, a high E. So all three of them together are So that's our C chord. Very simple, very easy. You could apply it right away. So the next one string chord we're going to learn today is the G chord. The strings we're gonna use are the top three, just the same as the last chord. The G string, the B string, and the E string. Okay, the way we play this one is we're gonna play the open G, third string, open B, second string. We're gonna take our third finger, put it on the third fret of the high E, which is a G note. And we're just gonna play these three. And that's our open G. And the third one finger chord we're going to learn today is a G seventh chord. And the way that's played Again, we're gonna use the top three strings, okay? And we're gonna use the open G, open B. This time we're gonna take our first finger, put it on the first fret of the high E string, which is an F, and we get these three notes. And that's a G seventh. So, you just learned three very simple, very easy one finger chords that you can play and just start using right away to begin helping you write your songs or play guitar. But if you made it this far, we're gonna take it one step further and I just don't wanna leave you hanging with three chords and nothing to do with them. So what we're gonna do is give you three chord progressions using these chords as an exercise so you can practice these. Okay, going into these chord progression exercises, the way we're gonna count them out is each chord will get four beats. The count off will be one, two, three, four. So I'll do a count off and then we'll play each chord and they'll get four beats, but I'll say the name of the chord and then count the number of beats. So I'll say C, two, three, four, and then if we go to G, two, three, four, and so forth. So here we go with chord exercise number one. We're gonna start with the C chord, first finger, on the second string in the first fret. Here's the count off. One, two, three, four. First chord, C, two, three, four. Again, C, two, three, four. To G, G, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. To G seventh, G seven, two, three, 
four, G seven, two, three, four, and back to C. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. So congratulations, you just played your first chord exercise using three chords. We're gonna move on to chord exercise number two. We're gonna start off with G, then go to G7, then C, and then we're gonna repeat that. Go G, G7, and C. We'll do the count off again, just like the first one, and then I'll call out the chord name, and I'll count the number of beats it gets. So here we go, starting off with G, third finger, third fret, high E string. We're using the top three strings on the guitar. One, two, three, four, and G, two, three, four, to G seventh, G seventh, two, three, four, to C, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, back to G, G, two, three, four, to G seventh, G seventh, two, three, four, back to C, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. Awesome, you just did your second chord exercise using chords with only one finger for each chord. So congratulations on that. Let's move to number three. All right, so for the third chord exercise, we're going to start off with the G seventh chord. Then we're gonna go to G, and then we're gonna go to C. And then we'll repeat that, G seventh, G, C. Okay, we'll begin with the four count in. One, two, three, four. G seventh, two, three, four to G. G, two, three, four to C. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. Again, G seventh, G seven, two, three, four to G. G, two, three, four to C. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. So super congrats to you. That was the third chord exercise. So you just played your third chord exercise. So today you learned three chords just using one finger. So if you're just starting out, it might feel a little bit weird, but you'll get used to it as your fingers get more strength. Again, your practice or homework for you is to play through those chord progressions. Let me know in the comments below which of the chords is easiest for you to play, which of the chords was the hardest to play, and also which of the exercises was easier or harder, exercise one, two, or three. Again, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. Make sure and share the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any future videos. Thanks again, have an awesome day. We'll see you next time.